Meanwhile, the American lawmakers have criticized the Wall Street executive's decision to attend the Hong Kong's Monetary Authority's Global Financial Leaders Investment Summit. The United States has said that the Wall Street's attendance actually gives a level of political mileage to the city's chief executive, John Lee. Now, the U.S. Congressional Executive Commission on, Ch on China has said that the executive's presence legitimizes the dismantling of Hong Kong's autonomy, its free press, and also the rule of law by the city authorities. The Washington-based Hong Kong Democracy Council said that the bankers' attendance at the summit would only help whitewash the rights abuses that have been witnessed over the course of the last few years. Now, exiled Hong Kong activists have sent a letter to the U.S. government and have said that the U.S. presence has actually been used as a propaganda tool to encourage greater foreign investment into Hong Kong. Hong Kong is seeking to reassert its status as an open and a free global financial hub with the banking summit. This is after the rights concerns and strict COVID-19 rules sparked an exodus of foreign and local residents. The city also took an authoritarian turn after Beijing imposed the sweeping national security law in June 2020. And since then, more than 200 people have been arrested by the National Security Police, and several of them have also been jailed for taking part in anti-government demonstrations. Hong Kong is home to more than 1,200 foreign and regional corporate headquarters, but the city is slowly losing its appeal due to the security law and also because of the pandemic policies imposed by Beijing. Now, experts say that Hong Kong as a business hub has suffered due to the uncertainty that comes with the national security law, but it can succeed if it manages to return to autonomy and has its own specific policies. Senior executives from global banks, including the likes of J.P. Morgan Chase, HSBC and Morgan Stanley, are scheduled to attend the Global Financial Leaders Summit on Wednesday. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.